In Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, is where we're going to find one very controversial statue. The statue of St. Sophia. Why is it controversial, you may ask? Maybe you've never even heard about the controversy. Maybe you totally disagree with it. Well, I have my own opinion, but I'm also interested to find out what the locals think. So we'll speak to them today to get the general consensus. The St. Sophia statue stands proud and tall in the city centre in the area of the parliament and has been a symbol of Sofia since it was erected in 2000. Let's have a little look at what some of the symbols are actually meant to mean. The crown on her head is a symbol of spiritual mission of Bulgaria and power, while the wreath in her hand is a symbol of peace and unity. The owl perched on her arm is a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. I went round and I spoke to a few of the locals to see what they thought about and most of them had a similar idea. Uh, the statue of St. So Sophia really showcases the beauty of Sophia. Okay. Perfect. Right then, yeah. thank you for your time guys. Have a nice day. Yeah, Cheers to Baba Mata. Baba Mata. <laughs> do, do you want a martinica? Ah. It's big and so and it's... The structure is really nice. You can see that people try to make it look as most as best as they can. Yeah, it's nice. It's a national statue of culture. I mean, yeah. it's something like we're used to seeing yep. and it's kind of represents Sofia. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pretty Perfect. much that is. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. All right then. Thank you very much. Chestita Baba Mata. I personally like it. You like it? I yeah. mean, it's always been there. Yeah. And like I am like used to seeing it. I if I'm honest, I haven't like thought about about yeah. it. You haven't thought about it. Yeah, but like I I like it. Yeah. I also like it. It's part of the city. Like yeah. we're used to it. Yeah. So yeah. Now I'd love for you to write your honest opinion about the statue down in the comments below before we get on to the next part. But if we take a closer look and a different point of view, we find something a little bit more dark and mysterious about the statue. Let's first of all compare it to the icon of actually Saint Sophia. We notice that the crown has nothing to do with her and religion anyway. And within the icons of Saint Sophia, she's usually portrayed wearing lighter robes, blues, pinks, not black as the statue is. And I ask myself, why black? Isn't that usually associated with dark and evil things. Even more mysteriously is the fact that she's dressed very prerogative with her cleavage out and the curves visible throughout the bellowing fabrics in her dress. And this is what the main controversy is, that it seemed to be a little bit too erotic and pagan to be considered like a saint. So although Bulgarians are deeply religious people, they have many pagan beliefs that go back thousands of years. So let's take a <laughs> pagan approach to this. Then maybe you could compare this statue to the ancient goddess Lilith. Could it represent her? The dark symbolism of the wreath and the owl combined with her hollowed eyes of the statue could be interpreted as a warning consequences of straying away from the path of righteousness. Legend has it that Lilith was the very first wife of Adam. After their marriage didn't work out, she was banished from the Garden of Eden and swore to take vengeance on as many of Adam and Eve's children as possible. Lilith was very sexual and always seems to be depicted in this manner. This is another comparison to our statue in Sofia. Reefs are also associated with funerals and death. Although can be eternal life, there seems to be a negative side to the reef. Lilith also seems to be holding some kind of wreath-like symbols. Though we seem to have a very positive view on the symbolization of an owl, the pagans believed that owls were associated with witchcraft and the devil. As you can see, Lilith is also flanked by two owls. We may never really know the true representation of the statue, but it's clear that it has a lot more than what meets the eye. Is the statue a reminder of Bulgarians' rich cultural history, or is it a warning of darkness that lies beneath? Only time will tell. In my opinion, they could have made a better representation for this beautiful city. However it is, it just goes to prove the wonderful mysteries that can be found within this country. Now I have another mystery from a video from a couple of years ago about fire water. Water that seems to be able to burn. Go check that mystery out now. And as soon as the lights 